Today I will be talking about the responses in a survey or a questionnaire. What do you do in order to improve the response rates of the respondents? There might be two types of non-respondents. First one will be the straightforward refusal to respond and the next would be not at homes. Exactly as the name sounds, they are not at home. What do you do to improve the not at home response rate is callbacks. You simply call back and ask for their response. And in case of refusals, you have to do these following things. You might need to give them prior notification before the survey. You might need to motivate them, give them proper incentives. You might also need to follow up with the survey. And also the questionnaire design should be proper so that the respondents are not intimidated by it. And then sometimes you have to adjust for non-responses. There are various reasons for which you might need to adjust for non-responses. These are the adjustment techniques. I will go through them one by one. First of all, subsampling of non-respondents. Let's say a number of people did not respond. The researcher takes a subsample from these number of people and talks to them via telephone or personal interview. And then there can be replacement. In this case, the non-respondents are replaced with non-respondents of a previous study. Keep in mind that the previous study should be similar to the study that is being conducted. And then there is substitution. Here you go for different people from the sampling frame with the same characteristics with the non-respondents. You can do subjective estimates. What subjective estimates says is that you assume what they were going to say and do it yourself. And then we have trend analysis. In trend analysis, you have to check the trend between early and late respondents. And the trend is used to project the responses of the non-respondents. Then you have weighting. You take the average response of the respondents and insert the value to the non-respondents. The same average value should be inserted to all the non-respondents. And then lastly, we have imputation. In imputation, the process is simple. You match the characteristics of non-respondent with the respondent and input the result of the respondent for the non-respondent. And with that, I would like to end this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today.